Hey everybody, SF Logic Ninja here, or you can call me David Earl. I don't care. Um, getting back to you with a part two, the real part two, because I gave you kind of a part two, but it was a totally different kind of thing. Uh, I was doing tempo, uh, how to tap your tempo in, that kind of thing. It was just sort of a for fun thing that I did from home because I knew I could do it quickly. So today I wanted to talk about groove templates. Um, there was a link uh, that you should see. Um, it's over on that side. I, that'll probably work. Um, you should see a link uh, underneath the description of the video. And that has a file that you need to download. It's a zip file, so you need to have Stuff It Expander to open it. And inside that file, there is an old Logic song. And if you open up that Logic song, you will get uh, all of the groove, uh, all of uh, MIDI representation of all the grooves from the MPC uh, 3000, which is a very popular box used by hip hop producers. Um, a lot of hip hop producers that wanted to move to Logic were talking to me, and they were like, "You know, I really like the feel of the MPC 3000." So I went online and I found out that somebody had actually taken the grooves of the MPC and converted them into MIDI files that I could convert uh, into groove templates. So this is a pretty handy thing and uh, I want to use this as an example for how to um, get these groove templates into your template du jour. So anyway, there's my nice long intro and I might have to split this up into a couple of videos. So have fun and I'll see you soon. Ciao. Hey y'all, how you doing? Uh, so we're going to talk about groove templates today. Basically what groove templates are is they, um, in this particular case today with the file that I um, gave you to download at www.deepbluesecret.com forward slash mpc.zip, um, you need to use Stuff Expander to open that up apparently. Um, but once you have it open, you'll have a Logic song in there. Open the Logic song in Logic 8, and you'll see uh, an arranged screen with two uh, folders. So check this out. Here are the two folders. One of these has the MPC 3000 16th note quantize, and the other one has 8th note quantize. So I'm going to grab both of them. I'm going to hit Apple C to copy them, and then I'm going to close this song. And I'm going to paste them into the session that I was just in. All right, here's my two folders. The song that I gave you already has the quantizes built into it, so I want to start this way. Now, even though these folders are on a track that says no output, I can still double click and it shows me all of the MIDI regions that are included within that folder. This MIDI re these MIDI regions were created by playing a scale on the MPC 3000. Um, the guy who did this, uh, I didn't do this by the way and I gotta find out who did because it's really cool. Uh, he deserves a lot of credit. Um, what he did is he played a scale from C1 to G3 and then he quantized it within the MPC 3000 and then he took that MIDI file and he um, took all of the main quantizes and uh, saved them as regions uh, within Logic and what that gives us the ability to do is if I double click okay here's all the different types of quantize he also named them for us okay this region is MPC 3000 16th note quantize 50 percent swing 50% means that there's not going to be any swing. When we get down here, it says 63%. 63% means that the note is going to be swung to the right 13%. The reason that they say 15, uh, 50% is that you can swing it before or after. 50% is the middle. So if I say 43%, it'll go to the left. If I say 75%, it goes to the right. So here's all the 16th note quantize. Here's all the 8th note quantize. So I double click here. Now I'm going to do a select all, that's Apple A, and then I'm going to go to my options, groove templates, make groove template. Double click in the background, takes me out of the folder. 
If I go here to my quantize now, check it out. I've got all the standard quantize that comes with logic, but then I also have the MPC 3000 16th note quantize. So let's do it again, but let's do it on the 8th note quantize. Double click, Apple A, selects all, options, groove templates, make groove template. Now I've got the 16th note quantize and the 8th note quantize. Pretty rad. So basically if you're working on hip hop and you want to have an MPC 3000 feel, you can do that. Now the trick is for this template, you see I called it the MPC template, MPC, te MPC, ugh, MPC template, sorry about that. Um, to keep those within your quantize list, you have to keep the regions within your song. So it's easy enough, you just hit the hide button. And we're just gonna hide those folders. And now we can write normally and uh, they will stay in the session. So just to test it, I'm gonna hit save, Apple S, and I'm gonna close the song. Okay, I reopened the song. Is my quantize still there? It certainly is. We can quantize on input if we want. So that's the first type of um, groove template creation that we can do. Um, you can also, of course, create your own groove template. Let's say, um, let's say I had a drum kit here, and my feel was so immaculate in my playing that uh, I wanted to create a groove template out of it. So. So very irregular, strange, swingy groove, right? And of course, I did that completely on purpose. Um, if you go to Options, Groove Templates, Make Groove Template, it will essentially automatically create a groove template. It'll show up the bottom based off of what you played in. Now, it's called 70s Kit because it's uh, it names it after the region that was created. So that's how you make groove templates based on MIDI regions. Now the next thing I'm going to go over is how to extract MIDI from an audio file and then make a groove template from it. So important thing to remember is that when you do a um, when you do make a groove template off of a MIDI region um, you want to make sure that it has a fairly steady uh, beat to it. Um, but you know because you'll want it to be either sixteenths or eighths or quarter notes or whatever. Um, but uh, once you have that, once you have the basis of it, you should probably put that in the name of the region before you save it as a uh, groove template. Anyway, so on we go to our next uh, video, and hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I think that it's wonderful to have all the MPC quantized, let me tell you. Um, but just remember that when you save it, if you want to save it as a template, file, save as template, just make sure that you kept the, if I hit the hide button, you've kept the folders within there that have the uh, the regions with that groove template, uh, the regions that the groove template was made from. All right, thanks a lot, and on to our next one. Now, it's also important to note that you can also import um, DNA grooves, which are really popular groove templates that were made for um, all the major sequencing programs in the 90s, and that's under the options menu as well. Um, so now on to uh, the next groove lesson.